Let's start with a new idea. So since we're doing a new idea, we'll make a brand new Java project. We'll give the project a name. In this case, I'm going to talk about forms. And there's our project. Suppose that you want to keep information about a student, say their first name, last name, and age. Let's make the equivalent Java code to do that. We'll make a new Java class. We'll think of it as being the student form. And this time, we won't select main. What you end up with is a class with almost nothing in it. Let's add some information. Here we're using a class as a grouping mechanism. We're saying that the student form is going to have three pieces of information on it. It's going to have a bunch of characters that constitute a first name, a bunch of characters that constitute a last name, and a number that represents their age. Okay? So the class is really just a grouping mechanism. We'll save that, and we'll turn around and now make a main program. And we'll call this something like the registration department. And this time, we'll have a main, and we'll say finish. Get rid of the access comments. To make a variable that refers to a form, we're going to say student someone. So the someone variable is going to hold information about a student. So notice that Java recognizes that the student class that we've created can be used as a variable to really group three variables together. Now we need to make a new form. So we'll use the keyword new, and we'll make a brand new student form. The student form is going to be remembered by the someone variable. So we'll do that. At this point, we've got a blank form that's been created essentially from the photocopier. So we can start to fill in values, someone dot. And the dot says, here's the field I want to fill in. You, see, you can see that the first three values are the values that we made. So we're going to say someone dot first name gets a value of Fred. We'll say someone dot last name gets a value of Flintstone, and we'll make sure that their age is set to some value. If you want to see how this actually works, we'll set a breakpoint with a debugger. We'll run with the debugger until we hit that breakpoint. We'll do one more step over so that the student or the someone variable is created. There's the someone variable, but if you want to see the values that are being held by that someone variable, the tab on the side will crack it open so you can see that someone actually refers to three pieces of information. If we do a step over, we're going to copy the name Fred onto the first name variable. So if you look in the variable window, there's Fred being set. One more step over sets the value of Flintstone and one more step over sets the age. Kill that because we're done with it. Notice it's also possible to make more than one student variable, just like any other variable. So we can turn around and we can say uh, another person. Make a brand new different form for them to hold their information and then proceed to fill in that form instead, another dot first name equals Wilma, for instance. And now this is a separate form containing a separate information. Okay? So the dot is used to specify what portion of the form you want to fill out. Notice that variables in Java always start with a lowercase letter, and then every letter after that is capitalized. The only thing in Java that's going to get capital letters are classes.